Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, there you go. Today is truly a special moment. I want to first congratulate you all, the class of 2018, on your incredible achievement. Very few have the honor to say they graduated from a top 10 public university. Yeah, there you go. Whether you graduated summa cum laude, magnum cum laude, or simply just thank you, Lordy, <laughs> you all should be very, very proud to graduate from the University of Florida. I also want to thank all the family, parents, cousins, aunts, uncles, and everyone in attendance, because without your love, sacrifices, this would not be possible. Oh, yeah. But let's think about that word, possible. Possible means what is able to be done within the power capacity of someone or something. To each of you, that word might mean something different. It might even remind you of what's been possible in your own life. For some, possible was the chance to be the first member of your family to go to college. For others, possible was being able to have the opportunity to pursue a degree that you are passionate about. Whatever the word means to you, whatever has been possible for you, possible signifies hope, hope for a brighter future. In today's world, it can be so easy to get caught up in all the negative, to lose hope, and to simply think some things just aren't possible. But if there's one thing that 2018 has shown me thus far, is impossible, it's just a figment of our imagination. Hey, there you go. In this year alone, scientists have grown vegetables in Antarctica without a single day of sunlight. The Eagles actually won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and my favorite artist, Drake, has still managed to stay up in his feelings. And the crazy part is, there's still four months left in this year. If we don't push the boundary on what is possible, life around us becomes complacent and repetitive. Possible is what's going to move our state, our country, and our world forward. And as future leaders, people are looking at you all for inspiration, gusto, and direction. Today, obviously, we're in the O-Dome. And I don't know if y'all are basketball fans or not, but I can't think, can't stop but think about the 2017 NCAA tournament. It's a sweet 16. It was Florida versus Wisconsin. The score was 83-81 with four seconds left on the clock. Chris Chioza gets the ball out of bounds and starts dribbling forward. Defenders jumping at him left and right, but Chris keeps dribbling forward. He plants his feet at the three-point line and shoots a floater. Swish. So there you go. Game over. You see, class of 2018, when you all leave this campus today, I want you to change what people think is possible. Or in other words, I want you all to shoot your shot. You see, when, you, when you're thinking about taking that amazing job across the country, shoot your shot. When you're writing your dissertation for your PhD program on an unexplored, unexplored but exciting new topic, shoot your shot. And most importantly, when you're in the position to stand up for what's right, Shoot your shot. There's no guarantee that you're going to make the shot. And life shows you sometimes your shot gets blocked. But don't ever think it's not worth it, because the risk is always worth it. And you miss every single shot you don't take. But more importantly, as Gators, your actions inspire others to believe in themselves, to chase their own dreams, and to go greater. I call on you to embrace this challenge together, lean on one another hand in hand, and rise to the occasion during time's darkest hour to be the lighthouse of hope so needed around the world. Congrats once again, class of 2018, and go Gators.